Prime Minister of the Republic of Uganda, Robin Anabanja, has launched the week-long activities of the UPDF Tarehe Sita, which will include civil military activities, corporate social outreaches, among others. The Premier planted a mango tree at the Defence Headquarters in preparation for the 43rd Tarehe Sita activities, scheduled for February 6, 2024. Other activities will be launched throughout the country at regional and district levels as a token of appreciation for the support our army has enjoyed from the people of Soga, in particular, and the country generally. This year's Tarehe Sita celebrations and activities are going to be conducted under the theme celebrating the people's struggle for unity, security, peace, for socio-economic transformation. According to the UPDF political commissioner, Major General Henry Masiko, all projects undertaken by the UPDF in Bugwedi district, where the main event will occur, shall be handed over to the beneficiaries on February 5th, 2024. We want to organize uh, games and sports between ourselves and the young people, especially in all the districts. And we want also to participate in cultural galas. Busoga region's vulnerability and its significance in the formation of the Uganda People's Defense Forces is the reason why events to mark 43 years of the UPDF will be held in the area. The Chief of Defense Forces, General Wilson Imbadi, reiterated the forces commitment to respecting, upholding and promoting democratic principles, enabling any Ugandan or individual to participate in leadership. To deepen the extent that anybody can dream leading this country like some people you know but nobody should dream about destabilizing it Chintu Musoke the former prime minister of Uganda who served from 1994 to 2000 until his honorable retirement was the keynote speaker eulogizing the contribution of late Chirunda Chivei Jinja and Ibidandi Sali towards the development of Uganda but more so Chirunda Chivei Jinja believed in education for the masses and kept running all over looking for opportunities for educating people. More so, his fellow Muslims, whom he believed the colonial system had deliberately left behind. Between Kirunda and Bidan Shari and myself, we have been able to educate more than 500 young men on personal money and women who are now very useful citizens everywhere they are. The day shall lay the ground for UPDF commanders to share experiences with the community, identify issues that affect them, and arrive at solutions to promote unity and further social economic transformation. Ivan Kahua and Rogers Komagum, UBC News.